Hello everybody. In my last video I went over configuring a LDAP server using OpenLDAP. In this video I'm going to go over how to configure a LDAP client and export users home directories using AutoFS. This will auto mount users home directories when they log into a client with their LDAP account. There will be a link in the description for a text file which will contain the steps I'm about to go over as well as links to my other videos relating to what I'm doing in this one. I have logged into my LDAP server as we will need to do some server side changes first. Uh, before we get started I'm going to first confirm my network and hostname settings. So as you can see uh, this is the network and network address or host IP address uh, for this machine. So just make note of what yours is as you will need it later on. Uh, and we will also check the host name. So again, this is the host name of my LDAP server. So we will now open the etc exports file and we are going to specify to export the home directory. And then you can enter in a host address. In this case, I'm going to be saying my network. So any machine on this network should be able to uh, pick up this export and then we are going to set our options. So read, write, sync. Uh, those are really the only ones you need, but I'm gonna go ahead and say no root squash and no subtree check. Once you're done doing that, you can escape and right quit exit. And if not installed already, we will install nfs-utils and rpc bind. Okay, so now we will start and enable NFS and RPC bind. And now using show mount dash E, we should see the home directory exported. Okay, there it is. And if you have not done so already, we will allow uh, NFS and LDAP uh, requests through the firewall. Option optionally, you could just disable the firewall, but I like to try to configure stuff with the firewall still running. So as you can see, we've added the rule for LDAP on the public zone, and now we've done NFS as well. So after you've done that, you can reload the firewall and there we go. So we've basically done everything we need to do on the server side and now we will switch over to the client. Okay, so we've now logged into the client as root and we are going to install open LDAP clients and NSS PAM LDAP D. Okay, and once that's done, you can run this long command here. Uh, basically, what we're doing is enabling LDAP, the LDAP authentication, saying where LDAP server is. So just make sure for the LDAP server address line, you specify your LDAP server host name or IP address. Uh, the LDAP base DN, so again, this is the base DN for my LDAP. Uh, specify the base DN for yours. We are enabling make home directory and enabling shadow, setting the pass algorithm and the authorization, and updating. All right, so now if we run get ENT password and then one of our LDAP user account UIDs, uh, we should see the or their home directory. All right, so there it is. And as you can see, that home directory does not exist locally. So the next thing we will do is install AutoFS. And now we will update the etc auto.master file. 
at the end of this file we're going to add a line that says home forward slash LDAP and then tab etc home dot map and then escape and save this file and now we'll create that file we just specified in the auto master called etc home dot map and in this file we're going to say star space dash fs type equals nfs root no s uid soft and then tab and then the ldap and nfs server name so in this case rail server dot kjl dot local colon forward slash home forward slash and and then we will save this file as well so now we will need to uh, restart the auto fs service and enable it okay so that should be all we need to do here uh, to test whether or not it works you can either do sudo the ldap username or ssh the ldap username at localhost. The reason why I like doing it this way is because generally more information is outputted if there's an issue and as you can see we successfully created the home account or home directory for this LDAP user and it is now listed under the home directory. So that's pretty much it. We were now able to log into a client machine with an LDAP account and see that user's home directory. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.